I would have to say that the top three must do's in order to make sure that my students uh, learn the material and that they actually understand and comprehend it is that my must do is I have to know who my students are. With a diverse student body in my classrooms ranging from the ages of 17 to 65, 68, um, one of the first things that I do is I have a introduction question in my discussion area of the course. And in this, I, I like to have the students share with me uh, their ages, where they're located at, uh, what they're doing if they're uh, a professional, if they've got a job, if they have a family. And then through this introduction class, I actually take notes and I keep that on hand anytime I need to address individual students or the class as a whole. I, I get to see the demographics of my student body. And because there are different learning characteristics and different backgrounds, uh, in some cases, the basics in the class, some of my students haven't had in 30 years. So it's really difficult to, in some of these more complex student bodies, to come up with something that's going to work for all of them. So that's one of the cases where I try to implement uh, a basic genetic overall presentation that should address everyone. But then in some of the commentary and especially in the discussion questions that are used and the homework assignments that are used to uh, drive this, this material home, it's able to reach into some of their different backgrounds and some of their different experiences. The discussion questions are really important to me to get student interaction because some of my students are in the professions themselves and they've got backgrounds where they can share their experiences and it helps their younger students or classmates, some of the younger classmates and some of the other classmates that aren't in this industry that the textbook is covering, their hands-on material, their hands-on experiences and their stories really drive home that this material is important and it is viable. I've got to find a way to not be confrontational, but to expose the way that it probably really is uh, and try to do that in a neutral light. Um, the whole goal was to make sure that they learn and to learn the material and that they can be um, not, not be prejudiced when it comes to the material itself. They need to be able to understand the facts as they're brought to their attention and be able to use it to their advantage for whatever their purpose is.